Hey, hi everyone. Welcome back to another video on Java for Selenium. In this video, we'll mainly discuss the string class in Java. String class is very important and you can say most powerful class in Java, which will help you to perform many operations. Especially in Selenium, we are going to use string class multiple times because most of the times we have to deal with the string. We need to capture the error messages, titles, help text, and we need to compare as well for the assertions. So we'll discuss what is string class, what are the different methods inside a string class, and we'll see one by one through examples. So a string is a class in Java which belongs to java.lang.string package. String has so many inbuilt methods which will help you to perform operations on a string, like comparing, converting, split, concatenate, and so on. So in Java, we have a parent class of all of the classes in Java is object class. So object class will be the parent class for all the classes which we have in Java. So we have a string class, string class directly inherit object class. So we'll see some of the methods. This method you will get by default in a string class when you start using it. So starts with, ends with. These methods will check if a certain string starts with a certain, uh, you can say string, it will return you true, otherwise false. So let me go back to the packages which we created. Let's create another package called string demo. Let's create a new class and let's say string demo one. Select public static void main, click on finish. Let's create a separate string. So let's create a string called name and name I will say selenium web driver. So this is my string and I need have I have a requirement I need to check whether this string start with selenium or not. So if I type name dot, so you can see I have so many methods inbuilt which is coming from string class. We are not going to use all, we will use which is required for our purpose. As of now we can see it starts with, it will check if that particular string exists at starting it will return true otherwise false. So I will say if selenium exists in the starting, it will return you true and false. So if you put mouse over, you can say it's returning a boolean value. I will say boolean status and I will print here. And I will say status is status. In the same way, let's say I have another string and I will say welcome to selenium web driver world and now if I say let's say name one and this time I want to say name one dot ends with and if I say world if this conditions satisfied it will again return me boolean value and I will say status 2 So I will say new status is status 2. So if I run this, in both the cases, it will return you true because both the conditions are getting satisfied. Right? Because we are giving the exact data which we are expecting. Let's say my string is again welcome to Selenium world, web driver world, and I am checking if name 1 ends with QTP definitely it will return me false and you will get new status as false. These are very handy method as the name itself says you can easily check what this method does. So this is first program which will only say start with end with if that particular condition satisfied it will return you true otherwise false. Let's create another class 
and this time I will say string demo2 and let's use very most powerful or you can mostly used method let's say I have this string now and I want to say if name one dot equals to I have another string let me take this is actual and let's say I have another string this time I will say expected this time I will not say selenium world it's this time I will say sorry not selenium web driver world expected is selenium world so now if I check if actual equals so you can say now I have two methods so now you need to decide which one to use so equals and equals ignore case so equals will check everything including your case sensitive and the content as well but equal ignore case will only check the content so as of now we can see if I compare actual versus expected both are different so it will definitely return me false because both are different here web driver is missing so if I right click and run as false but if I give the exact one it will return me true because both are true right very straightforward now let's say if I change capital W to small w but still you can see content is same and if you run this program you will notice it is saying false even though the content is same but here it is checking the uppercase lowercase as well here uppercase and here lowercase so it is giving you error so if you have certain scenario where you need to match the only content doesn't matter if it's uppercase or lowercase you can use equals ignore case equals ignore case so in this way you can ignore the uppercase lower case and it will return you true you can see now if I change the content then only it will return me false otherwise it will give me true now I change the content this time it will be false so equals and equal ignore case we are going to use multiple time in selenium web driver so you will notice once I start comparing the data like expected message versus actual message then we will use this so these two are very frequently used which uh, starts with ends with and equals and equal ignore case third one which is again mostly used let me keep it selenium demo 3 let's say I have the actual is this and expected only selenium so this time I will say if actual contains if the actual string which is welcome to selenium web driver will expect it is selenium if actual contains this expected then it will return me true otherwise false so as of now my expected is selenium and actuals contain selenium so definitely this is going to return me true but if I type Mukesh here and if I say if actual contains Mukesh then say true otherwise false false so based on this true false we have to take some decisions and we need to execute our test so I can give you a very basic scenario if I check a title if I say title contains welcome to selenium then continue with the test otherwise fail my test case and close the browser so these kind of validations we are going to use in selenium so these are very important so don't avoid this string class seems very easy but very important one and really it's very easy you need to only remember the methods which we have to use and thank you for Java guys because they have given the very doc awesome documentations as well so we have covered start with and with yes it will return you true and false split this is again really very interesting one uh, 
So a split will split your string into two parts, not into two parts, depends on the uh, data you have, and it will return you array of strings. This is my most important and you can say very interesting topic as well. So let's assume we have a string and let's take another string so that I can show you. And I will say full name and I will say selenium hyphen HP hyphen QTP hyphen grid. This is my string. So don't uh, just remove this. Now I want to break the string. Whenever I get any hyphen, I want to split this string. So if I say full name dot split, so it will ask you, give me the regular expressions. And if you notice, it will return you array of a string. So if I say whenever you're getting any hyphen, just split this into string array. or give me that tool name. So whenever we get any hyphen, it will split and it will store into the string array. And now if you want the array to be printed, what I will do, I will say for loop, int i start with zero, i less than, and I will say tool name dot length, i plus plus. and I will print. We have already covered how to access the array and I will pass here. So now Selenium will come separately HP QTP grid because once it will split, it will split into array. So array first element will be Selenium, second will be HP, third QTP and grid and so on. It will store into array. I will take the array length and I will start printing it. So let's run this and if you run this, you will get Selenium, QTP, HP and grid. Let's say I want to print the position as well. I will say value for I is. So value for zero is Selenium, value for one is HP. We can give some space, it will look good. Yes, now if you run this program, you will get, right? So you might get certain requirement where you need to split the string into two parts and you need to verify like first part contains this keyword or not. Now I have a requirement, if I split this particular string into a separate array, now I need to verify whether this uh, after splitting, I, this array contains selenium or not. Without using this, I can check here. I will check if tool name i dot contains or equals, and I will say equals ignore case selenium, then break the loop. And I will say test passed. So if I run this, you can see at first iteration itself, it is matching with Selenium and we are passing, uh, we are writing test pass and we are breaking. So break, whenever you say break, it will come out of this for loop and you will not see any other execution. So, but if you don't want to give break, it will continue with the rest of the piece of code and even though it will say test pass, it will say value for one is this and two for this. So this is how you can use this effectively. So based on the requirement, you need to decide which method to use, how to use. But don't worry, we'll cover once we uh, go through the Selenium part, you will notice I will be using this effectively. So split, let's say you have a requirement where Let me start with notepad. Let's say you are automating any e-commerce site and certain 
certain product have this 120 dollar I don't want to capture dollar I want to capture only the 122 so you can split here it will return you in a separate string you can use this part for the comparison so you will get so many requirements so just check which one will be suitable for you trim so trim it's a good method but depends how you are going to use it so as the name said trim it will only trim the uh, white spaces before and after the string so if you have any white spaces like spaces it will remove it's very easy to handle uh, very easy to use so let's create a separate class and let's say string demo 5 I will remove this piece of code not required and let's say I have a string called name and in this if I give so many spaces and if I type okay so many spaces selenium and if I say name dot trim it will return me the string if you put mouse over after trimming it will return me the string and I can store this name one and I can print here so you can see at starting it is trimming the total content and it last it is trimming the content it is not trimming before uh, like between the content as the definition says before and after the string so if you see it is terminating the before the string and after the string equals we have done equals ignores case we have done carrot last one we have many more but if I start discussing all the methods it will take two to three hours because they have n number of methods so let's discuss the last one which is called carrot so as the name says carrot it means character at a specific position so it will return you the character at a specific index so the last class again copy paste copy and paste and this time I will say this is demo 6 now let's say I have a separate string called Mukesh selenium now I need a character at a specific position so I will say name dot care at so when I say caret, it will return me the specific character. So let's say if I pass index 0, definitely is going to return me M. So I will directly use this print ln. So whatever character it will return, it will directly print. M, right? If I say 4, 4 means 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. It should return S. Okay. So these are the methods which you can use right now. You must be thinking why we are doing all the silly methods and what is the need of it. But you will get the importance once you start playing with the strings. So if you need many methods, then you can explore their official site. I can provide you, I can say string class and just type oracle docs so they have given a complete documentation which you can refer so they have all these constructor and these are the methods so they have so many methods and with the exact detailed description what exactly each method does caret we have discussed code point they have so, so many methods some of them we have discussed which is required like equals content equals compare you can do the comparison as well and so many so I will share the link in the description you can go through if if you are interested more in string class if not then we are done with this video thank you so much we'll see you in the next video have a nice day